Hey guys, welcome. If you are new, my name is Tyler and welcome to Tyler's Budgets. If you are returning, I'm so glad to have you in today's video. So let's get into it. We're going to be stuffing our sinking funds as well as some savings challenges. If you saw my cash planning video that came out earlier this week, we're not doing a whole heck of a lot today, but every penny counts. So let's get into it here. I'm just gonna pull out my binder. So we have a few things that we are stuffing in this binder. So fully funded, we're fully funded. We're not doing Blueberry or Costco. We are gonna put $10 into extra debt. And now extra debt has $10. Oh, come on, there we go. Fur babies, we're going to skip. Home, we're going to skip. Little one, we're going to be putting $20. And now little one has $20. we are going to be putting some in month ahead. So it looks like we're going to be putting $20. Which means we have 50, 70, 85. 85 is correct, that's correct. In month ahead. Online, we're not doing anything. Subscriptions, we're skipping. Winners, we're skipping. But we are adding to our vet folder. So I did book them in for their vaccines as well as their medications. So that's happening before the end of this week, which is great. Sucks for my credit card but glad to have it done before baby gets here and just one last thing that I have to stress about so um, this is the total amount that we figured out we're going to need to pay back so we're just building it up until we have that amount so vet is actually getting 40 today which makes it 20 40 60 80 that is in vet currently oops let's try that again Okay, let's let's not fight. Let's be friends. There we go. <laughs> Vet has 80. And that's it for this envelope or for that binder. And in our next binder, we're really skipping pretty much everything in here. Um, so Christmas, we're going to skip. Dental, we're going to skip. Gifts, we're going to skip. Fun, we're going to skip. Go mad, we're going to skip. But we are putting money in tags. So this is for my registration that's coming up in April. So I'm just adding a $20 bill. Um, so I like to do it most to least. So now we have 20, 35 in tags. Perfect. All right, and now we're moving right into our savings challenges, which is fun. Um, he hasn't given me any money to put in this just yet, probably will at a later date. Um, we just got paid today and I was able to run to the bank and he hasn't had a chance yet. So we will put money in here, probably in a short, a little bit later. Okay, so luck of the draw is getting 15. And I do have the cards in here, so I know exactly what I need to cross off. So we are adding 15 into there and let me pull this guy out and we are crossing off the eight of hearts and the seven of clubs. And what I'm actually going to start doing is I'm going to start pulling these completely. Um, just so that I don't get duplicates because the whole point is to go through the whole deck. So that will go off to the side. Chuck that guy by, chuck that guy by, <laughs> chuck that guy back in there. And let's go ahead and see what we are pulling for next time. Where's my deck of cards? It's in here. Okay. 
I actually need to pull the six of hearts and the four of diamonds as well. So let's grab those here really quick. Six of hearts, four of diamonds. Perfect. All right. So, whoops, let's do a shuffle. All right, the next card that jumps out will be the one we'll choose. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this card, which is a seven of diamonds, and let's do that card. There we go. So we have a seven and a five, which according to my calculations, is 12, $12? Seven plus five is $12. Perfect. I'm going to chuck these guys in here so I know for next time. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys just yet. Maybe I'll just pluck them back in there. And now we have our roll the dice. Let me just clean up really quickly here. Perfect. All right. The roll the dice, or I like to call it the roll to save challenge. We are putting $5 in. So I'm going to grab that last $5 bill and chuck it in here. I don't want to count it just yet. I mean, there's not much in here right now, but we'll count it at the end. And... I need to color in a four. Okay, we need to stop getting fours. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we need to stop getting fours because we're, <laughs> we're using up all these guys. I'm just going to go over. These guys were originally done in pen and they're kind of fading. So I'm just gonna quickly color them in very badly. Please don't judge my coloring. I've always been an outside of the lines kind of gal. When we're done filling in all these dice, we're gonna be looking at $105 that we've saved. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, and the last thing we have, we don't have anything for February, but that's okay. Um, any of the envelopes, as you can see, we didn't stuff many. I have another paycheck coming in two weeks and we will focus on those for the next coming paychecks. The last thing we have is our house savings. I actually did this completely backwards. I meant to do my wallet first. That's okay, we'll do our wallet last. The money's already been allocated, so. This is what we have stuffed for house. So we've got a 10. And then what I just do is I just chuck them in the back here. As you can see, I've got other guys in here as well. You have a 20. Yeah, I totally did this out of order actually. When I sat down, I just went straight into my binders. Normally we would stuff our wallet first, but I don't think it really matters. And sometimes it's nice to have a little change of pace. So it's not the same thing that we're watching every single time. 2020 and just so you guys know 200 is going into house savings this is a mandatory savings for me so if that means that my sinking funds don't get stuffed that's okay um i'm still saving money just in a different place so that is why this is mandatory for me plus we have so much motivation to just get the heck out of dodge and move outside of the city we want to move to a small town and there's been quite a few instances over the last week or so that it's just making it more and more evident that we just don't want to be in this area anymore um almost got hit by a car a week back devin's almost gone into multiple accidents that were not caused by him it's just unfortunate that um you know, things like that happen. But it really puts a fire under us to start saving. 
and doing what we need to do, which we've been saving for years, but starting to really cram save doing what we need to do so that we can move out to our acreage and get out of here. <laughs> um, okay, so that is it for our envelopes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stuff my wallet now. So, hopefully we should have enough. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. So, I made these like little um, grocery list things out of just uh, cardstock paper. So when I go to the grocery store, we were just writing down how much everything was so we had an idea of how much cash we needed when we got to the till. Eating out is not going to get anything. Gas is getting $40. And I have about a half a tank. I am starting to go to these um, like mommy and me kind of classes um, with my midwife. I just got to meet, I think it's like eight or nine wonderful women today that are all due in March, same as me. So that was really kind of cool to get to talk to people and see their perspective. And some people, this is their second kid. Some people, it's their first kid. So I don't know, it's kind of nice to feel like you're surrounded by likewise people. When I walked in, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen so many bumps in one place. <laughs> Spending is not getting anything. Uh, Tim Hortons is getting 20. And then we have our buffer that's getting 10. And that clears out our cash tray, which is great, which means I didn't make a mistake, which is, come on, which is great, but happens more regularly than I would like. So that's it. That is everything for today's video. I know it's quite quick, um, but wanted to get what I could into the envelopes and into my savings. And sure, even though it's not thousands of dollars, you know, Every penny counts, and I'm so proud of all of you guys for all of your saving reasons. Um, I just want to put a disclaimer out here. The we're getting we're rapidly growing here, which is absolutely fantastic. I I can't believe how much we our community and our family has grown um, in the last couple of weeks. But that means we're getting closer to the 500 giveaway. So I'm actually going to. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oops. I'm gonna use some of this time to just re-go over this. So in the $500 gift, or $500, I wish I can give you $500. In the 500 subscriber giveaway, I will be giving away a free Virgo binder. Comes with a $200 savings challenge and there's trackers that are in here as well. Some great, uh, ideas for sinking funds that are already pre-printed out and they are stickers and a whole pack of envelopes. Now in order to qualify for the giveaway, I want to make sure that everybody knows they have to be subscribed and they have to leave a comment as to what they're saving for or if they're not currently saving what you would love to save for in the future. So if you don't comment, you won't be entered into the giveaway. So I just, I really want to hear from you guys. I want you guys to share your stories. And I think it's super inspiring to hear everybody's, um, their journey. So, because nobody's is the same. Um, so yeah, that officially wraps up this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And um, until next time, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.